So you got your Ender 3 V2, you play with it for a while, and you're ready to upgrade. Well, the first thing I suggest to do is replace the factory springs with these bad boys right here. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that in five minutes or less. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So I'm not sure why Creality keeps sending these machines with those really flimsy springs, but they've done it for a long time. And in my opinion, they move, they kind of buckle, and they're not quite tensioned enough to keep the bed level for a long period of time. Now, there are plenty of people who swear by the stock springs, and Luke Hatfield himself will tell you that he uses stock springs and he doesn't have any issues. But I prefer to switch all of my springs out to these yellow compression springs like this. I'll put a link in the description below, but these things are awesome. Most of the time, after I get everything leveled or trammed, these things will help it stay there for many, many prints. The reason I like to go to these springs is because they're flat on the top, as you can see here. So everything sits flat against them, and there's no chance for it to roll back and forth or for that spring to flex out from underneath it. What's really cool about that is when they compress, they stay compressed for a long period of time, and most of the time, they don't move. It's a super easy and cheap upgrade to do, and we're gonna knock it out now. Let's go. So the first thing you wanna do is remove the glass bed from your uh, Ender 3 V2. You have your wheels here. What you need to do is loosen those wheels uh, and do them in pairs, two at a time. I'm gonna start with the front and just loosen them together until they uh, completely come off like that and do the same in the back. Once you have the wheels taken off, uh, lift up your build surface here, and we're gonna set it aside like this. Just be careful with the back one, you don't wanna break those wires. And you'll notice that most of the springs just sit on here, so grab the old flimsy cheap springs here and take them off. Then you wanna take your new springs, and I actually like to set them on like this, right over the holes. And in the back one, you'll have to put that on first, then put your strain relief on like that and the screw will go down through it. Then all you have to do is take your build surface, set it down on top of those uh, springs. Make sure you get the springs underneath. And if you have one fall out, that's okay. You can always grab and put it under like this. Once you have them all into the screws, put the screws down through those screw holes. As you can see, our yellow springs are in now, like there. To put the wheels back on, you want to put, do them in pairs, and they're going to spin uh, towards you to put them back on. So get both wheels started and start the back ones. Do not tighten these yet. You want to get the back ones on first. Once you have all four wheels on, tighten the front all the way down. Tighten the back all the way down. Now that you have them all tightened all the way down, you want to put your glass bed back on, grab your clips, and they clip on like that. So now your glass bed is back on. Now that it's done, don't forget you have to re-level the bed. There's a full video right here that you want to follow to do that. It makes it very quick and very easy. And I tell you what, once you do it, you're going to love these new yellow springs. All right, that was super simple and very quick. All I did was replace these cheap springs with these good ones here. And I tell you what, you're really going to like the difference. It's going to create a more stable build surface, and it'll actually keep it level for longer, which is awesome because no one likes re-leveling their bed. The springs are super cheap, they're easy to get, and you can grab them on Amazon. The link is in the description below. I hope you learned something today, and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and the bell right over here if you want to get notified anytime we go live on Monday for the live show Hot Makes or we put out a new video on the channel. Don't forget to check out the Ender 3 V2 playlist here for more videos on the Ender 3 V2.